Hello everyone, it's Glenda and welcome back to my channel, Creative Grandma. Today's video is all about yarn swatches with the Sundance Scramble Yarn. Now I've done the unboxing and I showed you all the yarn and now I have all my samples worked up. This is just a beautiful yarn to work with. I had a lot of fun making my samples and I've used different stitches and different techniques to see how many different looks I could get by using this yarn. So let me tell you again about the yarn and then we'll start going through all the colors and showing you my samples. So the Sundance Scramble is a yarn I found on Hershner's. Now this yarn is classified as a number four medium weight yarn. It's 100% acrylic. It's 3.5 ounces, 100 grams, 164 yards, 150 meters. And best of all, it is machine wash and dryable. It's such a pretty yarn. And let me show you the first sample. This is color rainbow, color number 0012. Now this sample here, I decided to chain 100. This sample, I use the No Fuss Stitch. Now all these Stitch of the Week patterns are free. They're on my website. Just go to creativegrandma.net, hit the Stitch of the Week banner, and you can scroll down and find all these stitch patterns for free. So it's number two, the No Fuss Stitch. And this is what my sample looked like. Now, again, I wanted to see what it would look like if I did a long chain, say a baby blanket. I chained 100 stitches and I used a size H8 or 5.5 millimeter hook. Now this sample, I'm just gonna measure it real quick, measures 35 inches across. And when I did that, it almost made the pattern come out to where the colors finished on each end. So let me just show you. It's a pretty long sample. See if I can zoom out just a little bit more. I have all my samples piled here. So it's a pretty long sample. And I just wanted to see how it would work up if you decided you wanted to make an afghan. So it's almost like a self-striping yarn. So let me get this up here. It's a very simple stitch pattern. But with the rainbow colors, now the pink didn't stand out as much. I'm going to flip it over. That's the front. And on the back, you can see how the pink is more dominant on the other side. So one side, the stitches may look more predominant than the other. So I would say this would be like a reversible pattern where it's just beautiful on both sides. So this is my first sample, and I use color 0012 rainbow. My second sample, I use the color 0007 Island. That was that beautiful blues and greens. And this is what my sample looks like. Now this stitch pattern here is Stitch of the Week number 64. It's the Alpine Stitch. Very simple front post stitch pattern. And this is what it looks like worked up. Now this sample is about 32 stitches across, I believe, 32 or 34 stitches. And you can see how the color pattern works out. And you have to remember the less stitches across, the wider the colors are going to be coming up. So if this was wider and you were making a baby blanket or an afghan, then you would just get a speck of that color going across like my first sample that I showed you but beautiful texture, beautiful colors in this sample. And again, this was color number 0007 Island. My next sample is perfect for Valentine's Day. Now this stitch pattern is pattern number 221, the Peekaboo Stitch. And again, all these stitch patterns can be found on our website. So I chose the peekaboo stitch because it's a fun stitch pattern. It's really quick to do. And this colorway is color number 0011, Valentine. So again, perfect. Now what I like about this sample, let me zoom up just a little bit more. What I like about this sample was how the colors changed. 
they were all on the same color theme of those pinkish red tones and you're going to see it does have a self striping you can see this bright red here and then it goes into this color here almost like a pinkish mauve and then back up to a pretty pink it almost has a light and medium pink mixed and then you're going to go into this really dark pink and then back up to the bright and the colors are going to repeat now again this is a narrow sample this is about 30 stitches and you can see how you have the little wider stripes but i just think this one blended together really well with the colors it didn't have a lot of stark color changes like it didn't have yellows and lime greens they were all the same colors and i think this one just worked up really pretty because of that reason they were all the same color tones so that was my third sample and again, that was color 0011, Valentine. So my next sample, I just wanted to lay it up against the Valentine so you can see the difference between the two. This one is more on all pinkish red tones. And this one has the pinks and the purples. So I just wanted you to see the difference between the two. This sample here is color 0010 Fruit Punch. That extra little bit of purple in with these pinks really sets this one off. So let me move this sample out of the way. Now for this stitch pattern, I use Stitch of the Week number 203, the Crochet Houndstooth Shell Stitch. And in this stitch pattern, it just creates a nice texture with those long stitches coming down between our shell stitches. Now, I think with this yarn, you're going to have results like this when you use the higher stitches. And if you're working on a wider project and using like single crochet, you're going to get more of a one line color across back and forth, depending on how wide you make your project. So this is my sample using color number 0010 Fruit Punch. My next sample, I decided to do a granny square because I wanted to see how it looked if you were working in the round. Now this almost looks like a multicolor with the difference of how the colors are just everywhere they're not just on one side they're almost evenly spaced around the design and i really like that i didn't want all my colors like over here and then all the other colors over here so i did like that you could see the colors going around now this is as big as i made it so the larger you get i'm not sure how it's going to look but it just gives you an idea of what it would look if you're making a granny square and I just love this combination with this blue and this almost like butterscotch color. So thank you to the viewer who told me. I was trying to figure out what color this looked like. And she said, that looks like butterscotch. And that is the perfect definition of this colorway. And this sample was made using color number 0009 lighthouse isn't that pretty almost like a french country with those blues and butterscotch colors so i thought that was pretty the next colorway i worked up was color sunshine this was color number 0005 and this rolls a little bit because I decided to use the Tunisian knit stitch. And I was really surprised at how this pattern worked out. I just thought it created like little arrows. And you can see how those color changes come out when you're using the Tunisian. Now this is a crochet stitch that looks knit. So it's called the Tunisian knit stitch. But you can see how it has the light yellow it has a little bit of that light tan color down here and then it has a real pale yellow it goes into that caramel color and then it goes into a brighter yellow and then it goes back down to that soft tan color and then it goes into that light yellow again and then it's coming up 
to the darker brown and then to that bright yellow so you can see how those colors repeat and sorry Tunisian crochet likes to roll so I have to keep pulling down my sample but you can see how that's working up now this is just a very narrow I believe all my samples were like 30 or 32 stitches wide now I did use a size 11 afghan hook on this I used a bigger hook size than recommended on the label and I thought it come out beautiful with those stitches so if you're using the Tunisian stitch I would really bump your hook size up with this yarn for a softer more delicate look but just beautiful in those colorways and you have to remember every stitch pattern is going to make this look completely different now remember the wider your project this may change you're going to have shorter rows with that stitch pattern and it's going to have probably a one row color change depending on how wide you make your pattern and if you make this you know even smaller across then these are going to be even wider color changes here but I just thought it was interesting of how that worked up with the Tunisian knit stitch and again this sample was made using color number 0005 sunshine now my next sample I decided to do a long sample because I wanted to see if I got the same results with like the one row color changes that went across so this again was a hundred stitches and this sample was made using color number 0006 little baby that beautiful pink it's white it's blue it's yellow just very pretty and when you look at this up close look at how beautiful those colorways are I see two different colors of blue you see the pink and two different colors of yellow you really have to look but you can see this darker blue then that almost turquoise blue then light yellow a little bit darker yellow then the white the pink and then it repeats with the darker blue the lighter blue white light yellow dark yellow back to that pink and then up to the darker blue and the lighter blue but you can see how those colors change so I thought this would make a really pretty baby blanket now this yarn is very easy to work with and it's a plump number four I was really surprised it just has a nice feeling to the yarn now it's not real real soft it's just a basic 100% acrylic that's what it feels like so again this sample was made using color number 0006 little baby now I have one more sample to show you one more colorway and the last sample it's in the dryer right now I decided to make a sample and then wash it and dry it and then compare it to see if it shrunk how it feels if it has the same texture and compare it to my samples that I didn't wash so let me go ahead and grab that sample and let me show you the last colorway so this is the sample that I washed and dried in the washer and this sample was made using color number 0008 rainforest you can see the beautiful greens some yellow some of that brown and it's all mixed with white now a couple things about the sample after I washed it now this sample measured 11 by 12 inches before I washed it so after I measured it it now measures about 10 and 3 quarters inches across so it shrunk a quarter of an inch across this way and when I measured it this way it shrunk a half an inch so now it's a half an inch shorter so it did shrink a little bit now when I washed my sample I used warm water I used fabric softener I always use fabric softener and when I put it in the dryer I used hot heat now the texture of the yarn I felt completely changed my samples before they were put in the laundry was had a stiffness to them after I washed and dried my sample it softened it up it has a softer feel but the drape changed it has a beautiful drape to it now it's not as stiff 
and it's more on the lines of a cozy sweater. It just has that feeling of putting on a nice, soft, cozy sweater now instead of having a stiffness to it. Now, the other thing about this yarn, now I'm not sure if you can see it, so I'm going to grab my notebook. And it did get a little bit of fuzziness on it. Now, this is not an anti-pilling yarn, so it's going to get fuzzy when you wash it. So I'm going to hold my notebook up here, and if you look, let me see if I can get my camera so you can see it. Really fine, you can see this fuzziness. You really have to look. Let me get it up here close, focus in. It's right here, right on top. Can you see that? And it did on the side, you can see the little bit of fuzziness here on the side. And then just let me fold this over a little bit. So let me see if I can get that. You can see just a little bit of fuzziness on top of those stitches. So if you like and you don't mind that little bit of fuzziness, it's really hard to see. It's not bad, but it's there. And I'm not sure. I only washed it once, so I'm not sure how fuzzy this will get. Let me flip it over again and let me see if you can see it on another portion of it. Just so you can see the degree of the fuzziness. Not too bad, but there is some fuzziness to the yarn. But it did soften up after I washed and dried it. Now, I was happy that it got rid of the stiffness. I don't like a real stiff feeling yarn. I, I don't like the roughness, but after washing it, it does have a nice feel to it. So you have to remember when you're buying a yarn that's not anti-pilling, you're going to have fuzziness and you may get pilling where you're going to get those fuzz balls. So that is one consideration when you're buying any yarn, any brand that's not anti-pilling. Now this sample was made using the little shell stitch. This is Stitch of the Week, number 15. It's a wonderful two row repeat. It's quick and easy and it's just a fun stitch pattern to do. And you can see based on how wide you make your project how those colors are changing. And again with this yarn because it's a self striping yarn depending on how wide your project is is going to depend on how wide these stripes are. So if you chain a hundred then this is going to have one row repeats. Now this is a pretty high stitch so depending on how wide you make your project you may end up with two colors in the same row. But this is what the fun of trying some of these yarns are but this at least gives you an idea of how this yarn works up in different stitch patterns. So the whole idea of doing this video was to show you that it's fun to play around with the yarn and it's fun to try different stitch patterns. With this video, if you see a stitch pattern that you like the look of the yarn, if you said, I like that yarn worked in that stitch pattern, then I would believe that probably any of these colorways you would like done in that stitch pattern. But just keep in mind that these colorways will look different depending on which stitch patterns you're using for your project. So I hope this video has been helpful. It's just fun playing around with the different stitches and trying these yarns because sometimes it's really hard to see how these yarns are going to work up in a project. Some might surprise you and I try to save people money because you may love it and then you feel good about making your purchase or you may buy it and when you get it home and work it up you think oh you get so frustrated because you're not happy with how it looks because you pictured it a completely different way and that's why when you get a yarn that you work up and you're unhappy with change your stitch pattern because if you change your stitch pattern it can make a completely different look to the yarn so some of those yarns you threw in the closet that you thought you didn't like you may love using a different stitch pattern so get them back out and play around with them so i hope you found this video helpful again this was the sundance scramble yarn and this yarn is available on hirschners.com website now i'm not an affiliate of Hirschner's. I'm just a happy customer of Hirschner's and you can see that I do love ordering their yarn. So thank you everybody for stopping by today. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and like this video. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of the crochet fun here on Creative Grandma's channel. So until next time, happy crocheting!